Hi everyone, this is Nataraj. I'm back with another video. In this video, I'm going to talk about that hosting the static website via cloud storage plus load balancing plus cloud DNS using Terraform. The Google Cloud Storage offers the straightforward way to host the static content such as HTML, CSS, JavaScript and image file. It is an excellent choice for hosting the static website without need for the traditional web server. But in olden days we are usually to deploy that Apache or Nginx to serve the HTML applications. In order to host a static website on GCS, you must to follow the below things. First, we have to create and configuring your GCS bucket. Then configuring that necessity permission to allow for the website to have the public URL. Whenever you are trying to upload the any file, it by default it's be private. We have to enable that privileged for entire bucket so that only we can able to access that HTML file from global network. Rerouting the traffic from your website to GCS bucket using load balancing and CDN and a DNS. That's a diagram for the demo. The user trying to hit that in Chrome browser www.web.cloudroot7xyz in website, it directly hit to the DNS. Yeah, GCP DNS is a powerful domain name system. You can manage and configure the domain name in the DNS record. It is a fast resolution of the domain name system to the IP address. Next to that, it will be transferred to the LB. The IP address is pointed to that load balancer. The load balancer is distributing the incoming traffic to that nearest based on that user geographical location. Then the traffic moving to that cloud DNS. The cloud DNS is helped to minimize that latencies and improving the overall the user experience. Next to the request is transferred to the bucket. The bucket is that the static content is served from the bucket itself. So this entire thing we are using the Terraform to provisioning the things. So we will be seeing that code in soon. Terraform cloud definition flow. Using the picture as a guide, we are constructing the Terraform code definition starting from the top. So we will move into the Visual Studio, we can see the code one by one. We are at the Visual Studio code. The entire source code is available on my repository. You can clone from any time. We can see the Terraform file one by one. The first one is that main.tf file. The first resource is the random strings. Here we are generating the random character and the special character. In my case, in special character, I make it false. It generated the 8 letter character and all are in the lower case. Next resource is the Google storage bucket. Here we are creating that object storage bucket. We can see the parameter. The naming parameter you can see a thing and concurrenting with that uh, random string. Then the bucket is located at the US. Forcefully destroy equal to true which means that suppose if we have the content in the bucket uh, during the terraform destroy it uh, does not allow to delete. If you are making it the true even though if you have the content, uh, we can easily to delete the bucket. Next one is that uniform bucket level access. Here we are granting the access to your cloud storage. Next one is the website. The main page suffix is so indicating that index.html. It is that uh, entry point. So whenever you are hitting the application directly access from the index.html. Not found page 404.html. Suppose that uh, index.html some pages does not exit, it will be reloading to the 404.html. Next one is the label. Labeling is acting as a key value. Next one is the CRS. It's a cross region resource sharing. Uh, we can see the parameter one by one. The first one is the origin. I make it as tick, which means I'm globally allowed. We, we can also restrict it with it based on that uh, region basis or IP basis. Next one is the method. Here I'm allowing the all the method. Next one is the respond header. I make it that as tick, globally allowed. Maximum aging seconds I provided 3600. Next one is the life cycle rule conditions. Number new version equal to true. Uh, we are keeping the maximum number of the version per object equal to true. The action types we are make it delete. Suppose more than that it will be automatically delete the versions. Next resource is the Google storage bucket object. Here we are adding the object to the cloud storage. In my case I am uploading the index.html as well as 404 HTML from my local to uploading to that my uh, google cloud storage next resource is that google storage bucket ima member he, here we are allowing the public access to the cloud storage bucket and grant the permission to anyone assessing the bucket content so you can see the member all user which means that we are anonymous user we are allowing the globally depend on depend on basically to 
before creating the alter resource then only this IMA member uh, resource is going to create next resource is the Google compute backend bucket here we are enabled the DNS catching on storing the bucket you can see the property called enable underscore equal to true which means that we are enabling the CDN so next resource is that Google compute URL mapping this resource is used to routing the request to backend service based on the rule so you can see the thing I am pointed with my CDN URL here next resource is the Google compute target HTTP proxy so the target HTTP proxy used on the URL mapping to send the traffic to the prospect my backend so it be all the traffic is moving to the backend of the CDN right now next mode resource is the Google compute global address using this resource we are restoring the external internet access of the my load balancer next resource is the Google compute global forwarding rule here we are forwarding the traffic to the direct port is 80 the IP address we are whatever we are created earlier the resource IP address we are calling here the uh, IP protocol we are making the TCP and the port range we are defining it the 80 and a targeted this is the CDN things so whatever you created there earlier URL that thing we are pointed here next resource is the data resource Google DNS managing zone here the data block is querying the information about my external DNS name which I registered earlier called my cloud root 7 domain zone so that name I am calling from here next resource is the Google DNS record set here we are registering my subdomain called web.cloud root 7.xyz uh, into that A type record TTL we mentioned 300 and the managed zones we are calling from that my data blocks in the previously here that uh, zone data we are calling here RR data it be referred that the external internet address of my load balancers so next file is a variable the variable file I am defined with the project ID and the regions so according to my needs next one is that provider.tf file the provider file I mainly look at that, that the provider.google you can see the credentials uh, here I am creating the service accounts manually and provide the necessity permission to performing these actions and the project and region zone according to my demo so I am defining my location next one is the index.html so just I provide some html file I put randomly uh, the 404 html also some, some random uh, content I defined dot ignores uh, you can ignoring my json so while I am pushing my uh, code into the repository I am ignoring that my credential json file suppose you want to ignore anything so you can define like that we are going to the terminal to execute in the terraform operation I am going to click the three dot terminal new terminal so I am going to execute in the terraform init command to initialize my all the plugin so the plugin is initialized now I am going to execute in the terraform plan command to validate my syntax Yeah, syntax also fine then I am going to execute in a terraform apply command yeah you can see the plan 11 resource going to add 0 changes 0 destroyed the plus mark is indicating that the new resource going to add so I am providing the user input is yes is going to creating that all the provisioning Now, now the resource provision is going on I am pausing the videos once completing the provisioning I can continue on it and the terraform operation successfully completed we are moving to the GCP console page to validate that all the resource so now at my chrome browser I choose my project I am going to the navigation menu I am going to click that cloud storage and the bucket yeah that bucket is exit then I'm going to the load balancer I just type the load balancer yeah the load balancer also appear you can see I think the backend bucket is pointer just I click that name of the my load balancer this is the external IP address associated with the IT port this is the backend also you can see I think the cloud CNS is enabled 
then I'm going back to the cloud DNS I'm going to click my zone name of the my domain you can see here this is a subdomain whichever I created you can see that my subdomain called a web.cloudroot.xyz domain yeah you can see the IP address of my load balancer then I'm going to the cloud DNS my CDN name is a website backend. I click here on it. You can scroll down. These are that my catching performance by default it be enabled. If you want to, you can tune in that in Terraform itself. So now I'm going to assess my domain from that my browser. Web dot 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 x y z domain. Now I can be able to assess my application. Uh, I hope this video will be useful to everyone. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. Bye bye.